Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm going to say this right, but I've got at least give a heads up out there. It's again about the Bible timeline and about how Paul's doing his meter. What I'm finding out is a huge pattern that goes all the way back to Noah. And I've been discussing it with some of you guys. And in particular, it came up today, what about the meaning of the 105? Because 105 is, you know, prominent here. And it basically runs seven years after Christ, age 98, which was when the millennium was supposed to happen, had there never been a church. Okay, so Paul benchmarks 105 here at Aesquilte Sian Dia Jesu Christu, okay? And it's got a 21 number, 21 meter, which means it's building. It's analogous to Jacob, and that's real important here, as you're going to find out, okay? The idea that Paul was hitting on here is what if the rapture happened when Christ would have been 105, which is seven years later than the original schedule because Christ died seven years earlier than he was supposed to because he was rejected. So just like, you know, the problem with the temple and the missabbatical sabbatical years, are there going to be, is there going to be another seven year delay? And juridically, that had a lot of uh, parallel because, you know, David had the seven-year civil war before he became king of over all Israel, which is very relevant here. And then, you know, there was the not really just seven-year delay, but seven-year delay in his death. Um, when he retired at age 70, he didn't die at age 70. He retired, spent the last seven years of his life preparing the temple, which is very relevant here. So, you know, and then, of course, you know, you had the seven years lost on the 49 missed sabbatical years, which seven years couldn't play pre-Christ because time had to start up again at the end of the 49 sabbatical years, which is why Daniel's timing his prayer in Daniel 9 to, to the beginning of the 49th year. Okay, now I realize that for some of you this is all going over your head, but for the rest of you, you've been with me on this for several years so I'm not going over your head. When Daniel prays the reason for the tribulation being pre-church and having the rapture be pre-church is that Israel missed 49 sabbatical years there were seven more due on those years. Okay and the delays with David getting into the kingdom as you're gonna see in a few minutes hopefully the delays of David getting into the kingdom didn't make up for that loss. In other words, they were early starting their time period with Abram, okay, but they end up being in a debit by the time the temple falls. So the question was, how is that debit of time going to be made up? And it was a 14-year debit at that point. All right, so what Daniel 9 is about is to say, hi, seven years of the 14-year debit have to play during Messiah, that's the 62nd week, just the 62nd week in Daniel 9. And then the last seven is Daniel 9, 27, playing post-Messiah. Okay, that was the schedule of church had never come to exist. That would have ended 94 AD, but church came to exist because Israel rejected Christ. He died seven years early, so the 14 still had to be played. So how was it going to play now the church exists? And so one of the thoughts here was, okay, well, maybe Christ himself comes back seven years later to make up the time. All right? Because these are Paul. I mean, maximize this. I'm sorry. You know, turn this video off if you're not f following me from the beginning of the GGS series because it's going to be too confusing. Christ is born here. That's 10 A.D. Okay, this is 105 A.D. when Christ would have been 105. Paul is doing his own Anno Domini accounting. In between, here at, eight, at year 66, Christ would have been dead as long as he had been alive. So that was an expected rapture date. The temple was expected to, to fall down right there. Okay, or you could even say in Okay, and then we would be Hagius 
okay, at that point, but the whole world, the tribulation would have ended for the whole world by 73. And then I'm almost, we'd be coming back when Christ was 77. Is that cute? That's another, these are all alternative rapture dates. And I explain them in detail inside this Ephesians 1 repar stock. Okay. These are potential rapture dates. Okay, but the last rapture date expected was our equivalent of 94 AD. That's when John writes Revelation. He even datelines it. Except they have a slightly different way of saying what the dates are. So now Paul is saying, okay, what if when Christ was 105 years old, seven years after the latest possible trib date, latest possible millennium beginning date, because of the seven-year hickey with him being killed seven years early, so you've got to make up for it by adding seven years to time. That's what Paul's getting at here. Now, that it turns out this 105 is an extremely prominent number in his anaphora, too. All right, so then the question is, well, what does that mean? And I'll cover that in the next increment.